it's that time again, time to do next month's budget. So stick around, we're going through April. Let's see how we're gonna do. Oh wait, I don't know how we're gonna do yet. I know what we might have, but let's see what I got going on in April. I'm super excited to tell you this. If you follow me on Instagram, you probably already know, but I got a promotion. Yay. So that means more money to the debt snowball. I don't expect it to kick in in April simply because I will start my new job the first week in April. And with my job, it usually takes about a month to get paid. So I'll start seeing that money in May, I think. So that'll actually be June's budget that it goes to. So still a couple of months out, but I got the promotion and I'm super excited and it means good things. That's awesome. Another awesome bit of news about April is hopefully nobody will be sick. I realize I'm probably jinxing myself, but we have literally been sick for the entire month of March. Somebody was sick from the 1st of March all the way through the end. Uh, Melina and my father were very, very sick. Mauricio wants to tell everybody he's super sick, but he wasn't. He's a guy. He just likes to be melodramatic. What do we got going on here? In utilities, we have the standard phones for $188.69 and the storage unit for $355. And again, for anybody who has questions about the storage unit, I am going to be doing a whole video on the storage unit, why we have it, why it is cost effective for us to keep it, but not right now because it's still too cold. In trans transportation, we have our standard $400 for gas, $50 for an oil change, and again, our standard $70 for the Easy Pass, which may or may not get used in the month, but I'd rather have it in there and not use it than not have it in there and need it. For Melina category, we have our school tuition at $14.79. It's always the same. We are getting ever closer to when she starts public school and we will not have that tuition anymore. Although we, we have registered her for before and after care, but I don't know if we're gonna need it. We will have to discuss that when the time rolls closer. In our stores category, we have $100 for Amazon. That is pretty much standard. That, that goes to whatever comes up in the month that we need. Um, sometimes we use it, sometimes we don't. Hopefully this month we won't need it. Insurance and tax, $159 for USAA, which is our renter's policy and our car policy. Um, CMFG is a life insurance policy on both Mauricio and I, and then we have my life insurance, which is only part of my life insurance. Part of it is funded through my work and part of it, half of it is through USAA. And my life insurance is high because when I was getting it, I had some pretty significant health issues. So hopefully down the road, I'll be able to redo that. But for now, that's what our payment is. And then Mauricio's life insurance, because he has no health issues, is much lower. In our miscellaneous category, we have iTunes auto drafts, which ends up being $29.95. Weight Watchers, which is $44.95 every month. Our Blow Money is $200 every month. Mauricio's haircuts are $25 every month. In April, we have our reoccurring every dollar fee, and it's $99 for a year or $15 a month, and we're going with the cheaper option, which is $99 for the whole year. For this month, we have... $4,806.31 going to debt payments. So that is a lot. We have $100 in our category, our cushion category, which hopefully we won't need it all, but we always use it at least a little. And YouTube, I have $4.50 for TubeBuddy, $4.99 for PicMonkey, and $5 for Backblaze. And Backblaze backs up my computer, so if something happens to my computer, I can easily retrieve all of those files. PicMonkey is what I use to um, do my little inserts like this one. <laughs> and to make my awesome. And TubeBuddy is what I use for analytics. And our last category is our sinking funds. We have various things going to our sinking funds. Um, we have $50 for our medical sinking fund, which I'm pretty sure we're gonna be upping pretty soon. Um, $100 to our car repair replace fund, $100 to Christmas, $50 to emergency trip to Columbia, 
and $25 to miscellaneous expenses for Melina. And as of yet, we have not had to touch the emergency fund. That's all I got for you today. I hope this helps you guys set up your budget and I'll see you in the next one. See ya. See ya. Make sure you click on my big laughing face so you can subscribe to my channel and I'll put two videos up that you can click on. Go ahead and click on those and keep on watching. I'll see you in the next one. See ya!